Where are all the HO scale food trucks? Does anyone even make one? Here are the problems. Number one, my layout is a railroad industrial complex with no restaurants close by for the crews to eat. There's a printing and publishing facility, an ADM corn syrup transload facility, a distribution and cold storage facility, and a major food processing plant. Although they make tons of food, the crews can't eat it, so... And it's like this for miles, at least in HO scale with a mirror. And all that industry creates a second problem. The crews get very hungry. They work hard, so they need to eat. They're keeping up the rail infrastructure. They're loading corn syrup into trucks. They're switching rail cars. They're moving pallets. It definitely builds up an appetite. And unfortunately, with no good sources of food, it's created the third problem, which is a lot of unrest and even labor strikes. There's picketing outside P&W's regional HQ. Except for this scab. It's even being picked up by local news helicopters, which is not good PR for the railroad. And the biggest problem and the root cause of the whole issue is that there aren't any good out-of-the-box HO scale food trucks available currently. There's Hot Wheels and Matchbox food trucks, but they're 1 64th scale, which is too big, and they're poorly detailed. Walther's has food trailers, but that wouldn't be prototypical in an industrial park. And Woodland Scenics has an ice cream truck, which might be good in a playground, but not to feed crews. But after more digging online, I found the perfect solution, an HO scale taco truck kit by Interaction Hobbies in Chase, British Columbia, Canada. The guys in the industrial park were so excited about the prospect of a taco truck, they were screaming from the rooftops, even yelling from the overpass. It was enough to break the strike and get them back to work. So let's check out the kit. Here it is, the taco truck kit from Interaction Enterprises, Chase, British Columbia, Canada. Let's open it up and check it out. It's nice packaging for sure. Definitely a realistic looking vehicle. It is a kit. The, you can see the wheels and the tires and the internal components of the truck are 3D printed. They're still on the card there. The kit is wood from what I've seen on, the, on their internet site. So I prefer actually a kit because you can make it as realistic as you want and you can kind of give it your own personal touch and it's not a out of the box overpriced but cheaply made Chinese product. So. What I also got in addition to the kit, knowing it, it was a wood model, is I got this tester's cement for wood models. I also got body putty, assuming I may have to fill in some gaps here and there, and then I, I'm going to use my paints and weathering colors that I have for already for the model era. So it is true HO scale, and to me the fun of it is building it rather than just opening a box and having the product. So. Looks very cool. Stay tuned and I will put more videos on YouTube as I build this product out. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.